It's 7 a.m. from Fox 35. This is Good Day. All right, 717. This morning, developing news in the Middle East as tensions still rising between Israel and Iran. Israel has vowed to prevent Iran from acquiring nuclear weapons, and now Iran's government is fearing attack. Now, plenty of people have been concerned for years that the group Hezbollah would get involved, but they say that's not the case. They will not get involved. The big question this morning is, how do the tensions in the Middle East impact us here in the United States? Joining us here on Good Day is David Houghton. He is a political science professor at UCF. Good to see you. Thanks for coming in this morning. Thank you. All right, let's start off with this first of all. There has been a lot of talk lately about a number of countries attacking Iran, even the United States. Do you think that's going to happen? I think it's going to happen eventually, although uh, I don't think it will happen immediately, partly because on Thursday, Defense Minister Ehud Barak pretty clearly gave a signal that um, Iran, uh, that is Israel was preparing to attack. And that's not normally something that you do uh, before you launch a preemptive attack. So why do you think they did it? Because for years Iran has even said they want to wipe Israel off the map. Do you think this was just a case of saying if you keep saying that, we are going to attack? I think it was preparing the groundwork for something which is inevitably going to happen during the next few months. I think that's the tension in Israel, the sense of a long-term sense of a siege mentality that Israel has always had, partly because it's surrounded by potential adversaries, real adversaries, real enemies, and partly because of the legacy of the Holocaust, the memories of what happened. Um, there is a real sensitivity in Israel that eventually we're going to have to deal with this and it will happen sooner or later, but I don't think it will happen immediately partly because they've signaled this. Uh, so I think partly this is saber rattling at the moment, but it's getting more serious to the point where uh, I think eventually we will see in the next few months probably some sort of attack by Iran. How involved will the United States be in this case? Right, because, right. That, that, I mean, that's always been one of the biggest mm. concerns is you're talking nuclear situation now. Mm. A lot of people thought we went into Iraq because of Iran. So will we be involved in this current uh, crisis there? I find it hard to believe that we're going to encourage it. In fact, behind the scenes, the Obama administration has been quietly discouraging the Iranians from launching such an attack. They want to... They spent a couple of years uh, gathering together support amongst the Europeans for sanctions. And having done that, they want to give sanctions uh, at least a year, or so, a year or so to work. The Obama administration believes that we're about 15 months off hmm. uh, the Iranians being able to create a nuclear weapon. The Israelis estimate it's something like nine, nine months, eight months. And so there's a, a difference of opinion about how long this is going to take. Mm -hmm. And so it, the Iranians, uh, the uh, Israelis see this as something which is a lot more urgent than the Americans do. So it's obviously um, uh, more of an issue now than it has been in the past. Again, yeah. all right. David Houghton, a professor over at uh, UCF, also one of the experts in the Iranian hostage crisis. Thank you, sir. So good Thank to you. see you. Good to meet you. Okay, it is 720. Amy, let's head over to you.